everyone. Uh, sorry for the title. It's a bit clickbaity. It's, it was the best I could do. So my topic is chess and how a fish beats a cat. So I'll be talking to you about chess engines and how they operate or how the algorithms differ. First, the introduction to our popular modern chess engines. Modern chess engines use something called tree search, which is a brute force kind of way to solve problems. Uh, with that, we evaluate each, each chess position using material, threat, king safety, pawn structure, etc. And with that, we function we sum up all the points and the best evaluation is cho chosen. For the search part, we request through all possible moves and every possible move after that and apply the evaluation function and get the best route. The further an engine is able to search the tree, the better it will be. In terms of the evaluation function, most modern, modern engines use different evaluations for each part of the game, the opening, mid, and end game. The functions can evaluate raw materials such as having more pieces or certain pieces having greater value than others, like the queen to a pawn. General piece placement. So in chess, you would want to control center pieces rather than unoccupied squares on the edge of the board. Bonus piece placements are a sort of a niche cut or a, sort of a niche point where uh, certain pieces like being on certain parts of the board, like bishops and queens enjoy long diagonals and straights while knights generally uh, fare better in the center. Then we have pawn formation. That being said, you want your pawns to support each other and not be isolated. Our first engine we're going to be talking about is Stockfish. Stockfish is probably the, the most popular and strongest traditional chess engine out there. It is open source and it uses an algorithm called Minimax or Minmax, the, uh, it's dependent on how you want to pronounce it. Um, Minimax is a two player search algorithm or is a search algorithm for two player games where we minimize the possible losses for the worst case scenario. Uh, it's also a backtracking algorithm using decision making to find the optimal move for a player, assuming that the opposing player plays optimally. That's the worst case. It uses something called maximizer and minimizer, where mi the maximizer tries to get the highest score possible, and the minimizer tries to do the opposite and get the lowest score possible. In terms of optimization, Stockfish uses Stockfish and other modern traditional chess engines use alpha beta pruning. This, with alpha beta pruning, you are able to decrease the amount of nodes we need to evaluate. We stop evaluating a move or a position when at least one possibility has been found that proves that the move or position is to be worse for the player, you, than the previous examined move. And for the cats, we have Mittens. Mittens was a popular chess bot released by chess.com that was playable from the end of last year to the beginning of this year. Mittens is also a, Mittens is actually just a configuration of the Komodo engine, which is owned by chess.com. The difference between Stockfish and Komodo is that Komodo uses Monte Carlo Tree Search. Monte Carlo Tree Search is a prob probabilistic 
and the heuristic driven search algorithm. We combine classical search tree implementations with the learning principles of reinforcement learning. In the tree search, in the in tree search, there's also a possibility that the current best action is actually not the most optimal action. So what we want to do is we want to evaluate other alternatives during the learning phase by executing them instead of the current perceived optimal strategy. All right, here we have a simple diagram which shows that Monte Carlo tree search expands more than actually simulating or going down searching the tree to find better probabilities. Next thing I want to discuss is the title is How Mittens Lost. Uh, we, mit, mittens can't really lose per se against Stockfish because each algorithm is have their own strengths and weaknesses. Komodo being more positional makes it feel more human-like to play against while Stockfish seems like you're playing against a computer. But in terms of the top chess engine championship, Stockfish has been reigning champ has been the reigning champions for the past few seasons and has fared pretty well against Komodo. I have gone through uh, the different depths that Minimax and uh, Monte Carlo search tree search goes through, which Minimax gives a more deeper, narrower tree, while Komodo gives a wider but shallower tree. With the game constraints, time is important. Usually in the chess engine championship, each engine has one second to compute its next move. Given that, if you have a really strong engine and loads of time, we wouldn't know the outcome of which engine is better or not. Another thing is that Minimax prepares for the worst case while Monte Carlo, preferred, Monte Carlo prepares for the most probable case. Next on, on the future of chess engines. Here we have AlphaZero, which was developed by Google's DeepMind division. AlphaZero is a deep neural network and Monte Carlo search tree algorithm. It uses two networks, the value network and the policy network. Value network being the end goal and the policy network being the trained network. How AlphaZero trains its models using a reinforcement learning principle where we use the Monte tree Monte Carlo tree search to train its policy network. And then with the policy network, we better the Monte Carlo search tree. And then it goes in a cyclic manner. Hence, the game playing against itself. OK, so here's a little diagram of how the data and the model was trained with alpha zero. This, this figure right here is a simple explanation of how Alpha Zero will see the chessboard. The darker greens will be the better moves, while the lighter greens will be not so good moves. I also want to talk about the future of traditional chess engines. Ever since recently when um, this effic efficiently updatable neural network has been proposed and released. More traditional engines have been using this for the leaf node evaluations. While slower than normal evaluations, the NNUE does not suffer from the blindness beyond the current move problem, which means the engine would not know what's coming next than, the, than its current move. 
the as of September 2020, Stockfish 12 has been using this new NNUE and it's currently in the 15th iteration, Stockfish 15. Well, uh, Chester.com released Komodo, uh, Dragon by Komodo in November 2020. And here's a simple cheat sheet for AlphaGo Zero. So the main difference between traditional chess engines and these neural network chess engines like AlphaGo Zero is that traditional chess engines know which move to play, but doesn't know how to play the game. Neural network solves that problem by training the neural net on how to play its game. That's it for me.